Good morning everyone and welcome to our uh, pre-market odd stock show, show that will go into the biggest names that I have on the watch list. I'm going to start this morning with CGC, uh, that yesterday big outperformance yesterday with market falling apart. We had a big outperformance with the stock going up more than 11%. I had some calls here closed way, way, way too soon. Those calls made more than four times the money. So it was a beautiful trade here. Uh, um, and the stock stopped exactly where it should, near $20. $20 was my target hit, the high of the session, 9087. Uh, and the big question is now what? We have been seeing this kind of big moves on CGC and um, uh, uh, the other cannabis names. And um, uh, But I, I, I need to see more for uh, possible continuation. So that's why I usually lock my profits because um, uh, it hit a very nice uh, resistance here. And uh, for the break needs above 20.1. Above 20.1 we have the next big level around 22. But we are getting near the biggest levels. Um, uh, for uh, that uh, where the stock in the past saw big selling pressure so all the way from 20 if the stock goes above 20 from 20 to 22 dollars is a big selling area so if it goes in my opinion you trim your profits on the way up and congratulations on the trade okay uh, another name that i played yesterday DraftKings. And um, uh, it was a beautiful reversal bounce. From the pre-market, uh, uh, I told you and I gave you CGC as a possible uh, uh, pullback into the 40, 41 dollars. What it 41.7, that's when I start seeing a possible reversal bounce. And um, uh, um, it played very, very well. I looked very nice profits yesterday. It bounced perfectly from where it should, near 41, 40 dollars. Now what? Needs above 45, above 45, we have 46.3, 48 and 49.9 as big big walls. This is an oversold bounce. This is not a buy the dip uh, for a swing trade. In my opinion, market not in conditions to swing trade. So manage your risk wisely. I got in yesterday, got out. If today uh, it's, uh, I'm able to get a, a possible red to green move here uh, with $46 target can be a nice scalp. Otherwise, I suggest that you trim your profits, raise your stops on the way up and congratulations on the, uh, on the trade. Uh, yesterday, we also saw on Micron and I also got some calls on Micron, uh, a pop um, uh, with some news and uh, but i closed okay it was too fast it was very very fast i jump in jump out in four minutes um even i closed too soon but uh, uh, the stock faded at the end of um, uh, of the day because it's hitting a big big wall you need to respect uh, 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 big levels uh, 54 okay it uh, 54 uh, to the penny it's a big big wall uh, from the past 55 54.2 54.8 is the big wall here 53 to 54 is a big big wall now what bull cade is above 55 uh, 55 can squeeze otherwise it can continue here uh, supported 51 if it pullbacks can continue here the range between 48 uh, all the way into the 54 dollars area so for me it was a scalp get in get out and out of the trade sometimes that uh, um, uh, yes they had a big reversal sell um, uh, pen for example i was looking for a possible resume backup and breaking uh, but in instead it print the big ugly bearish reversal candle here uh, if it goes below 64 i have 61 as possible level if it breaks below watch out same thing that happened at uh, draft king can happen here at pen and uh, can have a big pullback all the way into 51 dollars area so keep it um, uh, on your watch space and um, another name that uh, lots of traders usually like to uh, uh, to trade uh, in my opinion it's getting tired it's near the 24 dollars area if it extends can go all the way into 26 27 dollars big big walls but right now even having some hard time here breaking higher i see bullish options activity but that does not mean that the stock goes needs a trigger trigger above 24 can go into 26 
that's a possible target. Uh, for the downside, this below 21.8 to roll over into uh, below $20 there. So keep it uh, uh, on your watch. Uh, yesterday, I also saw some bullish options activity on Twitter, but didn't get follow through. It's still holding the 21 day moving average, but needs above uh, $47. If the stock goes above 47, can go higher. If it goes below 45, yesterday, 45.2. If it goes below 45, watch out, can hold over $3 for um, the downside. Uh, some other names that uh, um, uh, traders usually uh, ask me for uh, um, uh, analysis and um, uh, uh, my my opinion it's about the solar stocks the solar stocks um, that saw a big and uh, one of the names is JKS. Uh, this thing keeps going. It's a big short squeeze. You continue to see bearish options activity with everyone trying to catch the and uh, call for a top. Uh, I don't like to call tops. This is very bullish. Is extended? Yes. The stock coming all the way from uh, $90 area right now, yesterday 77. So is this crazy? Yes, it's crazy. One day it will fall apart. Yes, no one has a clue when that they will come. But we need to look for the other names. For example, first solar yesterday start seeing some signs of weakness. Okay, it printed a bearish reversal candle, but needs follow through. It needs below 81. If the stock breaks below 81, watch out can go into the $75 area. Otherwise, uh, um, uh, uh, we keep open-minded for a possible consolidation and resume backup. You need to look also for other names. For example, Sun Power yesterday, uh, it gone and tried to go above uh, $90, but uh, it pulled back once again, printed a bearish reversal candle. So $80, $90 is a big, big wall. What's next? If the stock breaks below 16.7, watch out can roll over back into the $15 or even lower. So uh, one of the things that I suggest you to do is to uh, monitor, uh, instead of trying to pick the top here on JKS, see if first solar and uh, uh, sun power, for example, are going to crack down. If yes, we can have um, a, a, a rollover on, on the market. Otherwise, uh, the JKS trend keep uh, uh, squeezing the, the, the shorts. Um, some other names that uh, I'm looking that are uh, starting to crack down. Uh, one of the names is AMD. It's printing lower uh, lower highs, and uh, yes, they start printing lower lows uh, below eighty two dollars. Uh, eighty two dollars is a big big level. If it breaks below, in my opinion, if this stays below and goes below yesterday lows. 79.6 next target and below that can go all the way into 73 75 dollars as the next big level also seeing nvidia here start fading and uh, rolling over and um, we have um, uh, 532 as possible big uh, wall needs to hold otherwise can go all the way into 510 dollars so keep it uh, on your watch so uh, those are some of the names that I have on the watch list, trying to see uh, where the action uh, is. But uh, we are uh, going to the... Uh, actually, we are on the earnings season. Last week, uh, financials kick off the earnings season. We are going to have Netflix earnings tonight. So it's very, very risky. In, uh, very risky. In my opinion, you manage your risk. Uh, cash is also position. Let's wait to see where the market is going to stop or if it cross below some of the key levels, we can have uh, um, a big correction. We are going to the end of the, uh, the month. We are going to have US elections uh, at the early of November. Uh, today we are going to uh, hear from the stimulus uh, bill and um, lots of volatility here can make things very very tricky so manage your risk wisely let's wait to see first how netflix uh, will react to earnings to see if we are able to trigger the next um, uh, trade one way or the other okay uh, so wish you all a great trading thanks for watching and be happy trading thanks everyone bye bye see you